Welcome to the Chemistry for Biology channel. I'm John Irwin. Our topic today is I want a focused library. This work comes to you from the University of California, San Francisco, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. So let's get straight to our topic for the day, focused libraries. There's really two kinds of focused libraries I want to talk about, target focused libraries and chemically focused libraries. Among target focused libraries, there are three kinds that data permit us to uh, create. Direct binding, functional, and ADME. And chemically focused, I'll show you how to do that. All right, let's get straight to it. We're going to be at zinc.docking.org. And uh, we have a link right on the front page, target focused uh, libraries. You can also go to subsets targets. It's the same link. And when we do that, you can see uh, there are four tabs here. Binding, 10 micromolar or better binding one micromolar or better, functional assays, and ADME or ADMET assays, 10 micromolar or better. And on this page, you can see that there are 3,490 annotations in total uh, for binding at 10 micromolar or better. Here we have the UniProt code, the SwissProt code, the Kemble code for the target. Here's a description of the target in English. And then you can, you can see the number of ligands which are annotated and purchasable, and then uh, you can browse annotations and and so on. And uh, you can simply download smiles right away. So if you want to download the smiles for this target, you simply click on that button and there the smiles are on your disk. And those are all going to be purchasable. So uh, you can sort, for example, by uh, by clicking on the title. So we click on name. Um, you can see the sort sort changes there. Let's sort it, let's sort it the other way takes a little bit of time so we start with the Z's or the Z's at, and we just go through them there okay so, so these are called binding assays but in fact some of them they're, they're miscoded as binding assays but we're taking all of this from Kemble anyway so here's the vitamin D receptor and uh, there's its code and if you want to browse the molecules you simply click on the annotations uh, button and it takes you in there and now it's going to it's showing you the target view of zinc so you can see the molecule you can see its annotations and you can see the predictions and of course you can only see those predictions if we authorize you to do that uh, that's not a default but these are uh, annotated by default as uh, in Kemble as being active against the vitamin D receptor at both of course better than 10 and therefore also better than 1 micromolar okay you can change the view to get an overview view and you do a refresh and then there are two molecules exactly and if you want to download them in uh, SDF format and you want to download them in uh, a single representation at pH 7 you simply click on that and then uh, it'll download the file over here okay we wait a couple of seconds and those are the single representations at pH 7 for those two molecules okay so going back to the subsets and targets uh, remember I told you those were those were binding 10 micromolar. You can also look at the ADME page. These are straight out of Kemble, so we're simply recapitulating what is available there. Uh, and so you'd need to go back and look at the original annotation in Kemble. And this is a link to that. So this, this link will take you back into Kemble for this, and then you can research the data yourself, and you can figure out what it, if, you, if that's what you wanted. But the point is that we can simply give you the ligands, and you can see them right away. So everything... Pretty well everything that's in Kemble that's 10 micromolar or better, you can in, we've intersected with purchasable chemical space to give you uh, a list of ligands like this one here. And, uh, and so we're really trying to just make it easy for you. So if you wanted to get, to get those in uh, smiles, you'd simply go smiles, and then you'd go refresh, and there you have them in smiles. Okay? So I also talked about chemically focused subsets. These are these are target focused subsets. Now I'm going to talk about chemically focused subsets. So here we I've drawn before you came, I've drawn this sort of indole ring with a four chloro uh, indole, and imagine we also wanted to look for molecules that contain that moiety and also a methyl substituted so dimethyl substituted sulfonamides. So I'm going to go S double O double O C. So now it's basically carbon, nitrogen, sulfur with two double bonds, 
carbon. So it's a sulfonamide with a methyl group at each end. The dot means they aren't bound to each other. And now I do a run query. And as you can see, I'm now going to only get molecules that contain both the 4-chloroindole and the dimethyl sulfonamide. And, um, and then once we've got those, we can download them to our database, to our local disk, or we can save them in a shopping cart, just like always. Now this gives me a chance to remind you that when you search with uh, substructures, it can take a little while uh, to, do, to do the query. Uh, searching by similarity is usually faster. So let's just check that we're right. There's the 4-chloroindole, the and there's the dimethyl sulfonamide. Oh, it's got a nitrogen at the other end. Hmm, not completely happy about that. Uh, but it's pretty close, and maybe we have to refine the search a little bit. So you can, of course, add these molecules to your shopping cart in the usual way, or you can simply um, uh, download everything from the, uh, from the results. So if you want to get these molecules in SMILES format uh, using uh, a single representation at pH 7, and you simply do refresh, and now you've downloaded the molecules in, in, in SMILES format. Okay, and we could scroll through them and see all of them there. So, in conclusion, uh, we've been talking about uh, I want to focus library. We've, oh, we've been talking about uh, target focused and chemically focused libraries that you can create in Zinc. Our focus is on, our focus is on molecules you can buy. So that's what we show you by default. And so, um, uh, this has been a Chemistry for Biology presentation. You can see other videos like this one on YouTube. You can follow us on Twitter, and you can like us on Facebook. See you next time.